In this video, we have four quadratic equations, and you want to use the discriminant to determine whether these, well, to determine what type of solutions we have, the character of the solutions. You can solve a quadratic by factoring. You can solve by completing the square. You can use a quadratic formula. Factoring is always the best method if the equation factors. If it doesn't factor, then you can use the quadratic formula or the method of completing the square. Here we want to use a discriminant just to determine the type of solution we have. So we will have the standard formula for the standard equation of the quadratic ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Now here we're assuming that, at least in these types of problems, that a, b, and c are real numbers, not imaginary, 2i or 3i or whatever. And this is your quadratic formula. You just plug in there when you want to solve it. But the discriminant is what's under the uh, square root or the radicand here, b squared minus 4ac, b squared minus 4ac. That's going to determine the type of solution you have. So just briefly here, if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, then you have minus b over 2a. And that's a repeated solution. You have one repeated solution. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, then you're going to have two real solutions. If b squared minus 4ac is less than zero or negative, you have a negative under the radical, then you have imaginary solution. Now you can also determine, assuming of course that a, b, and c are integers here, you can also determine whether you have rational or irrational solutions. If the b squared minus 4ac is a perfect square, then you can eliminate the radical and you're going to have rational solutions. If the b squared minus 4ac is not a perfect square, then you could have irrational solutions, those with radicals. Now that's assuming the a, b, and c are real and not irrational. We want them to be rational. In this case, in this case, they're all integers. So that's going to apply. So all we need to do then, we're going to use the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. And for number one, we just plug in. For b, b is negative three. So we've got negative three quantity squared minus 4 times a is 3 c is 4 so this will give us 9 and minus 4 times 3 times 4 this will give us a 48 here we've got 9 minus 48 is equal to negative 39 so in this case, we have a negative under the radical because the discriminant is negative. So here, of course, we're going to have non-real complex, but more specific non-real solutions. And they're going to be different because you're going to have of the form, the solutions will be in the form A plus. So these solutions will be conjugates in the form A plus BI and A minus BI, where A and B will be real. So for this one again, Complex or non-real solutions, and the solutions will be conjugates. Number two, b is negative four, so it'll be negative four quantity squared minus four. a is two, c is one. So this will be 16, and then well, 4 times 2 times 1, that's 8, so four, 16 minus 8 is equal to 8. So we get a positive for the discriminant, so we got a positive number under the radicand, or the radical, I should say. So we have two real solutions, and they're unequal. Two real solutions, and they're unequal. Number three b is 3, so that's going to be 3 squared minus 4 a is 2 and remember the 4 is on this side so it, I have to put it in the, in the standard form so if I bring it over because it's a negative so this is a negative c is a negative 4 so we get 9 then Negative, negative there, cancel, so that gives me a plus 32. Plus 9 is 41. So it's positive, so we don't have non-real solutions. 
not a perfect square. So these are going to be irrational. The same thing for number two. If you want to know more specific, it's going to be irrational solutions because you don't get a perfect square. But this one again will have two unequal real solutions. And they will be irrational. They'll have a radical. And of course, the, the second one also, not a perfect square. So it'll be two unequal real solutions and they'll be irrational. Okay, these. And then for number four, b squared, or b rather is at 12, negative 12. And then the discriminant, we square that. And it's minus four times a, which is nine, times c, which is four. So we get 144, negative 12 squared is 144. And then this would be minus, and then four times nine times four is also 144. So this gives me zero. So all I have is the first part of that uh, numerator in the quadratic formula. So it's really just one repeated solution because this is going to be the first value plus what we get from the radical and minus, but it's both, both of them are zero. So we get one repeated real solution. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.